What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five BMX tricks. If you guys are new, I have one favor and that is to go down below and press subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. So before the keyboard warriors come out, I know I made a video like this in the past, but that was a year ago and that video, is just the traffic's gone off of it. So I figured make another one where people will be able to learn the top five BMX tricks and what to learn when you just start riding BMX. So one thing to take is that BMX is all about commitment and patience. Patience is a really big key. A BMX trick won't come to you in the matter of seconds. It will take time and dedication to actually be able to learn this. It's like trying to shoot three pointers in basketball. You sit there and it's your first time shooting three pointers, nine times out of 10 you're gonna hit air balls. But if you keep trying and trying and trying, soon you'll be like Steph Curry. So without further ado, the first trick to learn when you're riding bikes is a bunny hop. Bunny hop is a key to almost every BMX trick. You need to have somewhat of a good bunny hop, a good height bunny hop, and the only way to do that is just practice. Growing up, one of my buddies thought that his bike was way too heavy to do bunny hop, so he bought like a $700 complete bike made with like the lightest BMX parts and he still couldn't hop. One of the most important things is that it's not about the bike, it's about the rider. So if you guys are having struggles bunny hopping, just keep trying and just really try hard. Watch some how-tos. I did an excellent how-to that you guys can watch. It was a year ago, posted, and it wasn't, it's, I could probably make a better one now, but besides the point, go look up some how-tos. You will definitely have more experience learning how-tos and through this video. Being able to bunny hop is key. Now, a lot of people may be leaving questions on this video asking, oh, how high should I be able to bunny hop and it's not about how high I saw that in the last video it's about a comfortable height a comfortable height for me is around two feet to three feet that's how comfortable my hops are when I throw bar spins or do tail lips usually it's about two or more feet in the air around there a lot of people are more comfortable with like hopping three inches a lot of people are more comfortable hopping one inch it's just it's all it's all personal preference and you know you got Dylan Lloyd back here going like four feet in the air and just chucking switch double bar spins it's a little exaggerated it's more like three feet anyways a comfortable hop is key the next trick to learn after you do that is doing one handers one footers being able to take off any body part on the bike is a major major step up when i first started riding being able to take off my hands or feet was one of the only things i did to my friends in games of bike i would always do something called a crossbar grab or like a stem touch i couldn't really get the tire grab yet but i did a lot of stem touches and a lot of crossbar touches and you know that slowly gave me the bike control to be able to go for the tire grab and sooner or later i was able to do a tire grab so obviously the next step after that is to be able to do a tire grab or no foot can or can can any of those combinations now to be able to do this it's just all about mentality there's probably like a little mental block that's in everybody's head i know i was scared to take off my hands to begin with but if you straighten out your back very straight and you're very stiff and you just take off your hand really quickly slowly progress and take it off more and more and more one of the craziest things in BMX is that when I was learning tricks one day I would wake up and be able to do them so like one day I'll try 180s all day and I wouldn't be able to do it I wouldn't be able to get the rotation the next day I'd wake up try them and they're they're perfect for some reason I don't know it's weird I can't be the only one that has that issue. So personally, this is something I really never mastered or really tried or really concentrated on learning, but the next trick is manuals. Manuals is super, super, super key in BMX, although I cannot do them for the life of me, as you guys can tell right now, but they are a trick that takes some time, some patience, and a really good set of balance. Manuals are basically a trick. You just have to try and try and try and try and try, and that's something that I don't really like to do is just trying a trick over and over and over again I, I don't have balance dude we got visitors back here anyways the next trick trick number four to learn is how to spin on a bike I'm getting a phone call I'm uh, filming anybody else want to interrupt spinning is very very key in biking it's one of the main things that almost oh my spinning is one of the main things in BMX it's one of the tricks that kind of come after you learn all the other necessary tricks I listed. Spinning is very easy once you get the hang of it. Once you kind of go cockeyed off your axis and once you try it more and more and more, spinning becomes really easy. So one thing to learn is to do a 90 degree rotation. How you could do this is going up to a bank, a quarter, anything like that. Oh my God, more visitors. 180. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was actually talking about, 180. 
All right, so as I was saying, you go up to a bank and then you kind of go at it on an angle and then you try spinning as much as you can. Go watch a Hada 180, they'll teach you way better. I did an awesome one a while back. I'll, I'll link that to this video. Anyways, just keep going at the bank at more of a straight angle and then just keep hopping, hopping, hopping. And sooner or later, you'll be able to do a 180 and it's the same thing to do them flat. You watch the Hada 180, right? Hada what? Hada 180. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you could do a 180 now. Almost, I can like start to roll backwards. But like I'm working on getting out. But you could do the rotation of the 180. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Hey, there we go. Ah. Well, I guess you'll learn. Just gotta keep trying. So like you guys just saw, the next trick to learn, probably before you do a 180, this probably should be the fourth, is a fakie. Fakies are one of the more difficult tricks to learn, but it is a beginner trick that is really key. Fakies are really easy once you get the hang out of them. It's just all about balance and practice. So basically to go do a fakie is go on some sort of incline and just start rolling backwards. It doesn't really matter if you have a cassette or a free coaster. If you're a beginner, it is going to be kind of easier to go backwards on a free coaster, but it's gonna be kind of harder to get out with a cassette. It's going to be in the middle because pedaling backwards kind of helps you keep balance and it's easier to get out with a cassette. Anyways, fakies is just one of those tricks you just have to keep going, keep going, keep going, and one day you'll wake up and be able to do them. Just, it's just strange. Anyways, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have yet to subscribe, go down below and press subscribe. And before I forget, today's notification shout out goes to, once I find it, today's notification shout out goes to Trevor Conway. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video all you guys have to do is go down below press subscribe press like also hit that little notification bell and leave a comment saying notification squad and let me know if you are a beginner an intermediate level rider or an expert or a professional any of those so that share with a friend share the homie share your dog share the cat share the friends how mom share with the uncle bethany uncle bethany you'll know how we make videos every day i'll see you guys in the next one peace